With cyber attacks being up 156% in the second quarter of 2023 compared to the first three months of the year, it's clear that these attacks are growing at an alarming rate. In order to speak more on his company's solution to securing your network's database, I'd like to welcome Francis Belito, CEO of Quantum Emotion. My good sir, welcome. Hello. Hi, everybody. You know, I'm very happy to be with you. And very uh, happy to have you with us as well. Well, Francis, I'd like to start off by first asking a very important question uh, mm -hmm. on your quantum random numbers generator, as it being the ultimate weapon against cyber criminality as your company claims it to be. Why do you believe that is so? Oh, it's not only me who believes it. You know, in fact, more, a lot of specialists will tell you probably the same thing. Um, it's the idea behind that if you want to create um, a, a system, you know, that uh, an encryption system was at the core, actually, of all cybersecurity, you know, encryption, it's the best way to do it is actually to be unpredictable to, uh, you know, actually the hackers. Uh, being unpredictable means that, in theory, at least, you know, it's unhackable because there is no pattern, you know. So the idea behind is that what you extract a, a real, actually, source of randomness. Unfortunately, you cannot do it. It's actually in our physical world because everything is deterministic. Sometimes it appears actually almost or chaotic, but it's always a little bit deterministic. In fact, if you wanted to rely on pure, pure unpredictability, what's called physically randomness, you know, or entropy, that's the way you measure it in physics, you have to rely on quantum physics. So that's the reason why when we call our QRNG, it's and other QRNGs are actually the ultimate weapon against making, actually against the attempt to basically hack encryption. Mm -hmm. Yeah, entropy. That's a very important word here for your company, and yeah. uh, and the fact that this is cloud computing as well. Can you go in a little bit more about how this is uh, the first market is going to be in cloud computing? What that means. In fact, uh, when we created out, uh, I mean, last year we created our first device, you know, based on on IP. You know, we we have actually four patents now with our technology because we're using uh, one uh, famous, uh, you know, I mean, mechanism of uh, physics, uh, quantum physics. It's called uh, the tunneling electron effect. Okay? okay, so and it's a very, it's probably here what you see here in my hands is the most powerful, you know, I mean, uh, basically QRNG that is potentially in the market right now, okay, mm. based on that. And in fact, what we decided to do, instead of trying to, I mean, sell this device, you know, you know, at that stage, you know, in fact, we are developing iterations like a microchip that, you know, we are eventually, that could be a device that could be actually, you know, really uh, mainstream, you know, and being available to almost every equipment, every device that is connected to the internet. In between, we said that we can, instead of trying to sell the grape, we could sell the wine. So mm. basically here, what you have is, is recreating a huge amount of entropy with that, you know, entropy. So what we have developed was actually entropy as a service. Basically, okay. we, are, we are taking the product of this device and actually spreading it over their cloud and targeting, I mean, in fact, our partners that need actually to create a very strong backbone of security for their own applications in the cloud. Mm -hmm. so we are basically making these functional iCloud application. It's a huge, huge market. Everybody today, all the companies, you know, using iCloud for all kinds of uh, obvious reasons, you know, in terms of uh, productivity, trying to overcome a geographical barrier. So what, in fact, what we said, what we saw, in fact, a lot of these applications are not, they don't have the level of security that they should. And in particularly, that's the reason why we actually, we're starting to explore um, in healthcare, because this is an area where actually telemedicine, it's actually moving towards a lot of these cloud-based applications, because you want to actually more and more patients, particularly the ones suffering from chronic disease, to stay home. And they can be actually monitored, even treated actually from distance. If the, right now, the platforms exist to do that. However, we saw when we did an audit on the, some of these platforms, the level of security was actually really, really worrisome. So 
what we've done, you know, and this is what I think we started now commercialization for us. We did an agreement with a, you know, a company here in Quebec, you know, it's close to us that has actually developed one of the most performing of these platforms called digital therapeutic platforms. And actually we are making them almost, you know, bulletproof from a perspective of hacking. Yeah, and I'd like to focus on that for a moment as well, because you did recently announce that uh, commercial partnership with Graybox Solutions to implement mm -hmm. your technology in their digital therapeutics platform that you just spoke on. What specifically does this entail and how will it lead to your company's first revenues? Well, you know, the fact that so we, we created these so platforms now are going to starting to be deployed. It will probably take, you know, time to be deployed. But, the, you know, there is a, one of these platforms, you know, can take, for example, the first uh, application would be mental disease, you know, mental problems, you know, that people are, so the depression, you know, sometimes even psychosis, you know, so they'll be treated in monitor from home. And as you can imagine, when you're home and people discover that actually during the COVID, or, you know, during the COVID, you know, cyber criminality increased by 400%, 400%, wow. because People were working from home, but most of them they didn't have the you know the systems, the connection, security actually to do it that in a in a secure way. So and it's exactly the same situation now. So they needed to have actually that backbone of security to be able to actually that the the, the platform works you know according to the, you know the, the the goals and the objectives, and. In the case of, uh, I would say, healthcare, what is was many attractive for us now, talking from a business point of view, it's that it's not a choice to the to the the customer. I mean, the patient here, okay, it's not a choice for him because uh, it's an obligation for actually the the producer or the manufacturer of the platform. You know, if if, if if somebody is hacking you as a, you know, your health records and everything, the responsibility will come from the company. So it's not a choice. You don't want to be in a business where people have to choose. And fortunately, for whatever reason, maybe connected to the human nature, uh, people don't, they always believe that uh, issues of cyber or security is always the neighbor, not you. I'd like to also ask about other avenues. You you briefly went into it earlier talking about chips. Are there other past and near-term revenue outside the medical industry that your team will be pursuing? Yes. In fact, our we have, we are still a small company, you know, even if we have a lot of ambition, you know. But I mean, you can imagine cybersecurity and you know, and communication applies to almost every vertical, you know, every domain of the economy. Mm -hmm. We had to choose, you know, that's what we call a low-hanging fruit here, because we cannot cover everything. But there are military application, finance application, uh, you name it. You know, every you know, you everybody's concerned. Supply chain applications. Everybody's concerned by you know security and the communication. So. Um, I would say potentially, I think the the market for us, you know, it's is huge. But we have to be again uh, realistic, you know. So what I told you, you know, a, a few minutes ago was we're trying to focus right now on our low hanging fruit. I think the cloud based solution for us it's a fantastic opportunity because it doesn't uh, in you know doesn't imply to develop you know or try to manufacture at that stage, you know, because that yeah. costs. As you can imagine, a lot of uh, you know investment, you know, and it's you know, I mean, it's too early for us. Uh, so we can actually try to generate free cash flow, you know, by you know developing technologies, you know, and platforms for the, the cloud for the cloud. Well, I always like to add, I'll end off an interview asking a very important question: What should investors be excited about and looking forward to as we enter the last quarter of 2023? Well, they should they should be excited because, as you pointed out, cybersecurity it's it's but it's a huge market already and growing very fast. So that means that there are still a lot of an unmet need in the, in cybersecurity, and particularly when you consider, in fact, communication and encryption. It's still, I would say, it's it's still a, a a market is finding actually the the ultimate actually weapon. You know, so. We are coming with the nascent technology. This is still new, in fact. So the market needs to be adopted for the ones who actually have a sort of a vision and want it to be in the in the first rank, you know, in the first rank, you know. I mean, maybe they should be interested to our technology. 
I think that also we are we are based on quantum technology means this is a big revolution coming in a few years. It's not if, it's when. And I think the last uh, the, the last also is you know maybe a reason why is we were one of the very few companies in quantum communication that is public. So uh, it's not always an advantage, you know, to be public, as you can imagine, but uh, it's also, I think, an avenue for the shareholders or mean investors that uh, want to jump in the wagon and be ready, actually, because it will become a huge, huge, you know, I mean, market and a huge, huge reward for the ones who probably has, have uh, dared to jump in the wagon earlier. earlier. Mm. Yeah, well said. And I do agree as well. It's The industry is going to continue to rise year over year for a long time. Well, Francis, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you speaking with us and with your investors as well. For anyone looking for more information, you can see the website down below that you can go to. I appreciate it once again for your time, Francis. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Bye. Take care.